But, alright folks, here's what's going on. I'm building another box for my ground zero, and I'm tuning it a little higher than what mine is. I'm building it a little smaller, and I'm using a 6 inch aero port, wherever the fuck that is, and tuning it to about 48 hertz. I've never built one completely by myself. I got my neighbor over here, beep, this guy, holding some boards for me, but Clark's always been here and been the engineer and he does all the measurements and a lot of the cuts and everything, so everything comes out really nice, but uh, he ain't here, so uh, it's time for me to grow some balls and do one my damn self. So we'll see how it, ha how it turns out one way or the other. Fuck it. Alright, folks. For a really quick, quick cut box, <coughs> we actually fucked up two pieces. I actually messed up a little bit more than two. There's my big six inch port on this sucker. My 15 is going to go right there. I don't know if I want to do this in or out. But what happened is uh, see they're not going to line up like they're supposed to like where everything's kind of like smooshed together. I have to do these two inside, that one inside, this one inside. These on the very, very outside. Instead of like having everything sitting on the bottom piece and then smashed together with the top, uh, it's kind of different. Like this is going to be on the bottom and the top's actually going to be smashing down. I didn't think it all through. I was trying to do it really fast and get it all cut. Um, trying to go kind of fast. Kind of got some fucked up edges here. Small gaps on the side. I'm going to cock the shit out of that. But as of right now, I got like no glue. That's like empty. There's like a speck down there. And even though, I don't know if I got any screws. But I know I don't have enough glue. So, for a quick box, first time without my uh, engineer buddy, teammate, it'll work. I'll glue and screw the shit out of it. We'll see how how well it works out. I hope it's louder. At least on the term lab. I might use it this weekend. Anyway, I'll be back. Alright, folks. I came out here twice. Really early this morning before I went to bed. And I primered my box because I always like painting them. And I went to the store today and got some supplies. Type Bond 3, because that's the good shit. Screws. DeWalt for the win. Double sided. Fillet bits. Because I stripped the shit out of them. Uh, still no countersink. Box isn't going to be perfect anyway, but you know, what can you do? Oh, and a Red Bull. And this sweet little tool, the old cock finisher, so that way everything's smooth, no messy fingers. Uh oh, I hear my, uh, hear my neighbor coming up over here, so it's about time to do the deed. Alright, well I got my first part screwed here, with about a million and one screws. And I fucked up because we laid this on here and I screwed it down and I forgot now I can't glue here on either side. So this sideboard here cannot be glued to the bottom. So I'm just going to have to screw the fuck out of it. It's just uh, mistakes I'm going to make but uh, it happens. But uh, no glue down here, but it's probably gonna, it's going to get cocked and probably siliconed. That's just the way the story goes. But a hell, I got a hell of a lot of screws in the front. I know that much. Fuck it. All right, on to the next. Look at that, though. Well, the other side is on. Did I say in my last video that we fucked this up where I can't glue it? Okay, good. About, oh, twice as many screws than we need. 
And I did them crooked. They're not even. Look at that shit. Accidentally got in on it sideways and didn't notice. Started to like drilling sideways, so that's what why the screws wanted to follow. But that might not be seen, and it still holds it. Motherfucker's still tight. Over here, not real even. They're not sticking out the side. But that's right, folks. I'm gonna show you all my fuck ups. All of them. But maybe it'll be sturdy. Screwed down to the max. Now we gotta put the top on. Say alright, Jay. Yep. <laughs>